Hey beauties, happy new year. Da -da 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 -da. First video of 2022. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> I had to do something that sounded fun and off the wall. So, what's in my bag? What do you think's in my bag? It's empties. It's my empties. I really, honest to goodness, meant to have this done in the year 2021 so I could have all this clutter cleaned up and gone by the new year, but I forgot about it. It was hanging on the back of my bathroom door and living alone, I don't hardly ever have to shut my bathroom door. So I just forgot it was back there till I was mopping the other day. Went to shut the door to mop behind it and lo and behold, there was my bag of empties. So I thought, hmm, I better get that video filmed. Hi. If you're new here, my name is Michelle. We are so glad you could join us today for this video. It's going to be a fun one when we look into my bag of empties. Um, I think like 99% of it's probably skincare because that's usually what you empty first. I might have a little bit of makeup in there, but hardly will you ever see a palette in there. Sometimes you'll see mascara in there. Sometimes I forget to put something in there and may toss it in the garbage can. I hope not, and I'm going to try to get better about it, because I really think it's interesting, and I love to see, watch the empties videos. So, I hope you all enjoy this. I hope I can make it interesting for you. Let's jump right in it. Um, new folks, if you don't care to hit that subscribe button on your way out after you watch the video and join us here, hit the little warning bell up there, and I think it's your right-hand corner. And each time I upload a new video, it'll go right to your cell phone. Your cell phone will go ding, ding. You have a new video to watch it. Beautiful me, beautiful you, beautiful we. <laughs> you can come watch it right away. And uh, also, um, um, like the video. I hope you like this kind of video. I think empties are fun. If you don't like it, give it a thumbs down and let me know why you didn't like it. Maybe I can do something different. And if you do like these kind of videos, also make sure to let me know down in the comments if you like them and why you like them, okay? Um, I hope everybody's doing great. Did everybody make their New Year's resolutions? I did. <laughs> I did. And if you look over on the community tab, I, I wrote a little note about it. So there, uh, if you want to share your um, your resolution with us, then share it over there. I'm interested to see what everybody's resolutions were. Mine is to do all I can do for my YouTube channel in 2022 to take it as far as I can take it and get it to the top. So that's what I'm going to try to do. All right, let's get right into these empties here. And I'm just going to draw them out of here one at a time. I'm not even going to look. I hope I don't have to put my glasses on. <laughs> we'll see. Good first one. This first one was... Uh, a snail serum from Intoxicated Cosmetics. And I do love the serum. I love, love, love the serum. The only thing is, is I can't keep it on hand all the time because it is $100 for this bottle. So, um, I thoroughly enjoyed it when I had it. And I may have been, I'll, I'll get it for myself again one day. But I found comparable serums out there too that are uh, like 30 40 50 dollars so um but i really enjoyed this one and, and this is a all female owned business love the ladies over there so uh intoxicated cosmetics they have three serums i think and they also have a moisturizer that goes in with their serums but anyway that was my first empty and i did love it oh i loved it Ah, uh, Miss Fentany. <laughs> this was a, a Fentany powder. And I did get this in a a um, boxy charm. And it was my shade and I loved it. And I also ordered another one. So I have another one now. But um, I use this as a setting powder. It is not what I use as my um, baking powder. My baking powder and my final powder is, everybody knows, Puff Puff Pass. 
This I prefer as a setting powder to like to set under my eyes. And when I put my, um, my, uh, eye base on, then I'll go over it with my Fentany powder too. So this usually lasts me a good long while, a good long while. And this one did last a while. And then I also had given my, who did I give some of this to? I give, I gave somebody a little bit out of this. I don't remember who it was though, because they wanted to try it before they bought it. So I opened it up and gave them some to try. I don't know if they ever bought it though. I need to find out, <laughs> but good powder. Miss Fentany makes a good powder too. Let's see what's next. Ah, this, uh, this, um, Cover FX, um, uh, primer. We got this, I think, in Ipsy about two months ago, maybe. I got it in Ipsy about two months ago, and I enjoyed it. I'm going to reorder. As a matter of fact, I meant to reorder before I ran out of this one. But I do like this one. It leaves a sticky texture. And I like it when they leave a sticky texture. I enjoy that. Um, I feel like it helps me, uh, you know, with um, wrinkles and stuff too. So I do enjoy a primer that's got kind of a sticky texture to it. So I am going to reorder this one. Did uh, anybody else get this? Did you like it or what did you think of it? But I used it all up. I mean, I like stood on the tube to get the last bit out of it. <laughs> okay, the next thing is the DNA. Um, it's a conditioner, anti-aging from Dr. Brandt's. Very expensive brand. This is a very good product. I thoroughly enjoyed this. Once again, this came in my, <coughs> excuse me, Ipsy bag. Um... I I like Dr. Brandt. I have never had a product of his. Uh, I have ordered from him before, but I've never gotten a product from him that I didn't enjoy. Um, I just have a hard time ordering them all the time. I would like to reorder this. I can't remember how much it was. I want to say $68, but I don't hold me to that because I could be way off. Um, but it was a good moisturizer and it's got anti-aging benefits in it. And I noticed them every time I put it on. So, you know, that's a big, that's a big thing for me with skincare is anti-aging. So if it works and it looks good, then I, you can pretty well bet that I'm going to try it out. This was a good one. This was a good one. And I was so happy that Ipsy had put this in my bag for me. But anyway, Dr. Brant's, he's got good skin care. I'm sure he's got it for all lines of, you know, uh, oily, oily skin, combination skin. You know, I know he's got dry and anti-aging covered, so. Okay, this is another one that came from Dr. Brant. It's a triple antioxidant face cream. Now, this one is called P.S. I Love You. I didn't enjoy this one as much. Um... But I did use it all. This, I wouldn't reorder this one again. I didn't, uh, I don't know. Something about it, I, I felt like it wasn't holding to my face, if that makes any sense. So, I don't know. <laughs> it's not like I felt like it was sliding down or anything. I put it on at night, and I just kind of felt like when I laid my head down on my pillowcase, my head would, you know, my face would be sliding or, or something. It was the weirdest, I don't know, sensation, you know. So, I don't know what it was, but I just didn't enjoy it. So, I did use it all, but I'm not, I didn't use it all on my face. I did use it as a body cream to finish it up. So, there's that. It was an expensive body cream. But it felt good, you know, on the rest of my body. It just on my face, I didn't enjoy it. So, I will not be reordering that one. What else have we got in here? A couple more to go. Oh, yeah, and I think I might have another one of these. My Pretty Fresh uh, Foundation from ColourPop. $16 a bottle. I'm an 85N girl. I love this foundation. It is my go-to. 
I've already got it reordered. It should be here. Well, it should have been here today, but or yesterday, but the mail didn't run, so it'll be here Monday. I freak out when I'm out of this one. I do have several other ones. Like today, I'm wearing a Fentany one. I've got a Fentany one. I've got a Natasha Denona foundation. I have got um, Catrice. That Catrice feels like second skin. As a matter of fact, I think that might be what it's called. It's gorgeous, 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 but I bore it this week. And I've got one from um, Okra. I enjoy that one. And then I have got another one from Wonder Beauty, and I enjoyed that one too. But this is my all-time favorite. Like I said, $16 a bottle. You can't beat that. So hurry up and bring me my foundation miss usps driver okay i was talking to them those out the door they need to get it to me <laughs> maybe it'll be here monday i hope i had something come the other day from birmingham you know it goes to birmingham it's the last stop before it comes up here to double springs and it said it had left Birmingham at 8.19 the night before. Well, then the next morning at 9-something, it said it was leaving Birmingham. So, I don't know what's going on. They scanned my package and it was somebody else's. I don't know. Final product. Oh, yeah. It's another foundation bottle. I love this one, too. This is a drugstore brand. Um, It's L'Oreal Infallible. This is a good one, too. I will reorder this one or go pick it up at the store. Depends on... They should have my shade, I'm sure. It's, uh... I think it's in a little bitty print down here. I remember having to take it to the light to look at it. But, um... I will, uh... Compare it to, um... I'll put it up against the color pop one. It's not quite the same. It doesn't look 100% the same on there. But as far as job performance go, goes and coverage and all that stuff, I feel for this one like I do the ColourPop one. So if I had to put these down in front of me and make a choice each day from these two, I'd just do this one on Monday, this one on Tuesday, this one on Wednesday, this one on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and you get it, so on and so forth. Every other day I'd be using this one. And then I'd have to, you know, order them at the same time. So I'm going to have to anyway, it looks like. But there will probably be a week's difference <laughs> on when I got them. But anyway, um, like I said, I think I remember throwing some stuff away because I know that I had some other um, empties like mascaras. I've probably thrown three or four away. Um, I just get mad at those and toss them like if they come out clumpy on the end or something. I don't really care if I've had them for six days or a year. Um, if it's still performing good, I'm going to keep it. If it's not, if it's a month old, I'm going to chunk it if it's not performing well. So that's just me. And that's my nature. Well, I hope everybody has enjoyed my empties video today. Next time, I'll probably wait about three to four months um, to do one of these. And let them be a little bit bigger because... It'll be a little bit more content. Um, I hope everybody has a great first week of the year 2022. Don't forget to jump over to the community tab and find the, the message that I left last night over there. And let us know what your um, uh, New Year's resolution was if you want to share it with us. We'd love to know about it. We'd love to have a discussion with everybody over there. Um, I hope everybody enjoyed the video. I hope you have a great week the, rest, week the rest of this week. If you're going back to school, kids, get back to school and get it over with. We're expecting snow tonight, I think. Snow showers, I'll have to check that again. So I'll let you know if we get snow in Alabama. <laughs> we do every now and then, but we're not used to it. Anyway, guys, I'm so glad you stopped by. I've got to get to work. I'll see you in my next video. Toodaloo.